before we get going on today's video, uh, it's a bit of what we've been doing today and also a dealership in Poland that we missed the other day. Morgan's changing the split on this quad track, but I think he's dropped the gasket or lost it, so he's had to order another one. I don't know how, but I'm sure they were in the box that it come with. Andy Webb's just turned up, he's picking up some barley. The, the, the tailings out of spring barley for the shoot. So he's just fired up the 1455. It's a bit smoky this morning. Andy's just picking up this barley that we cleaned out for the for the shoot. He's cut the tops off some of them and then slide it back on like a cap. We're just leveling them off now. He's got a box rotator for his potatoes, so it's easy for him to get it out. But he can store it outside in them. This has arrived. It is Top Trump's cards. How good is that? Some old tractors and some new tractors on there. I've officially made it in life. Ian's here tidying up some of the stuff out of his old warehouse. And we was just talking them top trumps cards because oh, dropped it. Um, because the top trumps cards arrived, anyone who orders anything off the website, the next fifty people to order something off the website, we'll send you some top a top trumps card with them. Um, I'm just going to go and put a fire stick in the quad track. So because it's a big tractor, I'm going to put a hundred second one in there. So don't forget, people keep messing me going, where do you get the fire sticks from? Well, we sell them through the website. Uh, they get distributed straight to you from Firestick themselves. But they're on our website and they're good for tractors and combines and they don't go off like a fire extinguisher. You don't have to have them checked every year either. So I'm going to put this in the beast. Quad track actually has its own little shelf to put it on, which is quite handy. Um, Rob even took one away with him as well with his camper van at the weekend. But yeah, they like a flare. You kind of strike the end and blast it like a fire extinguisher. But they last a lot longer, like 100 seconds. Like a fire extinguisher which lasts 100 seconds would be about the size of an oil drummer bear. Notice a lot of the rally cars are using them now as well because you can obviously keep the weight down. Anyway, John's just unloading the digger. The outlet to the pond by me on my dad's house looks to be blocked. So we're going to go and sort that. Yeah, this uh, pond, lake, we used to call it a pit, but lake or pond sounds better. Maybe that's a pond and that's a lake. Uh, the outlet's blocked over there somewhere, so we'll just root down and see if we can block it because it's rising up higher than it should. I, I don't know why you've got them divining rods out. We know it's in the end of this hole because we've done it loads of times. We're just going to try and find the pipe the other side of the water and then dig it with a spade so we don't end up with clay going down the pipe. It's in the end of this trench somewhere. You won't see a shadow in the clay though because we did it with a big digger. We can't find it. I think it bends round, goes towards that hedge and along there. And it's water's running in through the soil as if the it's going through the old trench that we must have dug once before to put it in. we found it there now. John's just on the top of it. See it? The water now must be finding its way through a bit. Bubbling up out the perforations. Or it means it's blocked at the other end. So instead of taking a few leaves out of what we thought was a pipe there, we're now going to end up tracing this pipe all the way to them trees and digging in them trees to find where it goes into the main that goes that way. I put money, it's this willow tree that's just appeared from nowhere because the, the drain was behind that hedge line. And I bet you that willow tree is just totally, I think this hollow is where the drain goes into that ditch there. And I bet that willow tree's just intercepted it and completely blocked it because it doesn't look like there's anything flowing into that ditch now. Looks quite dry. Yeah, this ditch. Got a little bit of water there, but considering the rain we've had, it's pretty dry. 
there's obviously the trench goes off round there where my dad stood bet you that's totally knackered it that's it there pipe in the ditch nothing really flowing out of it going off that way right to that willow tree behind yeah, my dad Right, there's this willow tree. The pipe's obviously going round that way now. I'm just going to dig down and see if we can find it. We'll probably just be able to follow the roots all the way down. Some tree roots there. A bit of plastic that's never rotted away. Right, I'll see if this divining works. Let's see if he can do it with his eyes closed. Right, stay there now. Eh, whatever. I think it's down there because that's where the roots are heading for. And yeah, them roots are just diving really deep. So I think they're heading for the drain. See them. This tree. I know it's there somewhere because we can see it where it's collapsed in the ground. Not much of a shadow in the clay though. As John's scraping the bottom of the trench, you can see how it's hard and like gritting my teeth every time he takes a bite. Does anyone else do that? We started here and we've worked our way over. We've still not found it. Something's been down there before because there's an old builder's pack but we're below that now it's uh, just in the end of that ditch and you can see a hollow in the ground sort of there as if it came round we should hit it by now I might get the tracer thing that Charlotte's dad's lent us stick that in the end and see where it goes to there it is there we just found it now but it's empty because we just caught it with a digger and there's nothing in it. So that means it's not blocked here by this tree. Must be blocked somewhere else. Might put a camera down it and see. There's the green beacon of the digger, the bit of the arm. And then this is where we dug before. So from over there, here and it goes in a storm brewing. Goes along and over there, so I don't know what's happened to it. Got my camera to put down the drain, see how what we can see, but it's flat, so I'll have to put it on the charge and have a look later or tomorrow. This is today's quiz question. Something has arrived on demo, see if you can guess what it is. Downtown, what's it called, Joe? Begins with a B. Bit of beer stuff. Beer stuff, is it? It is beer soft. Beer stuff. So we're going to an English pub in beer stuff. Oh, what Michael's just found. Did you take your picture, Joe? Yeah, proud. yeah, I love it. It's just like Hollywood, isn't it? <laughs> this is this is the this is the town that we're in. The ba Bali stock. Was a hashtag. Yep. <laughs> There's a class dealer and oh can we not call it? <laughs> Quality diet it. Billboard for class combine. We're just on our way to a farm now. It's big John Deere dealers there. And Kramer. How do you know you're in Poland? I don't think anyone's going to get that, are they? Some big fields for once. We're not far now from the farm that we're going to visit. That wheat looks well, doesn't it? So, I've made before, haven't it? Some stalks. Oh, we've 
just arrived at the farm and it has a Deutz dealership. So we're just having a mooch around the yard. That's what you should hire out, Michael. Some of them trailers, sort the men from the boys. Yeah, when I was sort of 15 or 16, everything we, all our flat trailers were like that with a dolly underneath. You have to back them totally different to a normal trailer. See the high hitch point as well. It's just a bumper in it. It's a base that, isn't it? Black. Black wheel weights, grey rims. They've all got grey rims. Deutz Combine there. Case 270. Is that one of the ones with the quiet cab? Local farmers here filling up with ad blow and he must be thinking, look at these weirdos with the phones like they've never seen a tractor before. Smart like that, isn't it? It's clever, isn't it? Bit of ratchet strap there. Got his uh, side knives on ready. His rape kit. There's some trailers here as well. These dolly trailers. Mint that, innit? Put a few behind the other. The hitch on the back. I think they'll tip three ways, don't we? You can tip to the side with this arrangement, or they can tip back to front, but yeah, you hitch them all together. What's this behind it? Like a more conventional one, that big muck spreader. Yeah, so that's more like what we have in the UK. We have a bit of weight on the tractor, hydraulic jack. High that though, isn't it? <laughs> Joe laughing. Some little Kong skill spring tines. We used to have one of these. Tried putting it on the front linkage once. Couldn't steer. Joe's gonna have a look in the cab. I've never seen one like that before. It looks quite new and modern. Definitely a straw walker. It's on 900 tyres though. Let's look at this bumper. 1,000 kilos. It must be made by Deutz because it's got their name on it. It'd be good if they lit up, but I don't think they do because there's no wire going on the bottom. Smart though, isn't it? It's a smart track to that, to be fair, isn't it? Looks mean. Look at them rollers. So in the UK, the drawbar do that, but here it comes up. So high on the tractor. I don't know why they don't have to pick up pitches. Big chrome forage wagon there. Don't think I've ever seen a Kong school plow before, but it's well made. A couple of overruns as well. A Vadi Cultus. So that's just front legs and a packer. Oh no, it's got this to level it as well. That's really what we could have done with on the back of the quad for just getting some air in the ground to dry it out. Something that didn't do too much. All packed up in crates. I wonder how that'd hold it on, wouldn't you really? All the way from Sweden, is it, that are made? Yeah, I'll go over there and see what's going on. There's, there's just like two dogs just randomly asleep. One in the sun. One in the shade. <laughs> See what's over here. Oh, we've got like a little, little tiny like loadery thing. Another cultivator there. An agromasm. Look at that. A little tiny pivot steer. And there's a load of Samas. Fold down side one. Oh, look, there's a twist. That's a double twist. It's got two of them. We just want one, one on the roll of loads of straw. And a box drill. A Junkari. 
a Vadi Maze drill. I'm trying to keep me back to the wind, but it's still a bit windy, so I'm gonna go get my microphone out of the car. I do like yellow trailers. I always think Joskin has a good paint scheme. And there's a couple more mowers here. Big load of flexi tube, air suction tube. It says conditioner mower here off something. Like a, like a front. Oh, there's a the deck. I couldn't find the deck. It's looking at it the wrong way up. Amazon drill in the back there. Some more cultivators. Got some more mowers, class tether over there. Some furrows for the back of the ploughs. Vadi Tempo maze drill. And then an 8.4 metre rake by the looks of things. The feeder wagon, an MF something or other, front Sam has mower, crone mower, head of trailer off somewhere as well, and a Kong skilled springtime with shatter boards on the front, which are these things. That's fair out, isn't it? Oh, it's not a power arrow, so you get a set of discs here. Packerola and the cultures, but from there to there, it's quite far, especially if you're going down the road with it. It's like three metres wide and four metres long. That's a big roller. Look at these little tiny chippers. Like a fleet of them. <laughs> How big is that weight? Look, oh, two ton. For some reason, it only says, oh yeah, no, twelve hundred. Anyway, we had a quick mooch around the dealership now, off to the yard. John's just putting the tractors away. Well, seven two four. I've just put this one away. That's about all for today. Hope you enjoyed some of Poland. Still one farm left to be visited. That was even more interesting than the rest of it. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. James, you gonna do the birthdays? Probably not. <laughs> We've got Claire Gwilt, Oscar Hills 10, Chris Seddon and Stuart Preston is 52. We're now at 63,837 pounds. Happy birthday everyone on there and anyone else whose birthday is. Don't you think, James? <laughs> what are you doing, Chester? Reckon he's trying to work out how to get over that fence. Yeah, that's the thing. If he, if he... Is it a bit blustery, Chester?